Hello everyone, it is Friday, October 26th, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. It's Buggin' A Friday, man. That's right. And you know we're rocking, we're rocking with the Jamaica man. Love it. And we love beer, because beer is good for you, man. But anyway, let's get to our unofficial sponsor of the show. Of course, we got uh, theravel.com. That's T H E R A V E L.com. A phenomenal website by my good friends Johnny and his better half, Emma Montgomery. See, Johnny has allowed me to be an administrator of the website as well. So, folks, you need to check it out. Theravel.com. Great stories on there. I just post it up, talk about it. Lots of cool stuff. How about Mustang Brewing Company out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, otherwise known as Southern Kansas? Mustang Brewing Company, phenomenal beer by phenomenal folks. They watch my show. I support their beer. Hey, it's a love-love relationship, my friends. So there you go. How about some additional sponsors of the show, of course? As always, my good man Wally Fortier. Wally's aluminum shaping process, not Wally's ass sculpting process, so you probably wouldn't mind that if he was single and she was hot. Wicked hot. And uh, he lives right across the street from me down here in Yeehaw, Texas, man. Where men and men the bulls run scared. That's right. And uh, you got to check it out. Facebook.com slash WASPA. That's W-A-S-P-A-A. He makes all kinds of aluminum art, folks. Phenomenal stuff. Sports logos. Nature stuff. Whatever you want. If you want a big booby, he'll make aluminum art booby for you. Whatever you want. My man Rob Johnson. CompuTune. His business. He's on the old Facebook. He's a good friend of mine. I've known him for many years. Known as better half, um, Steph, for over 30. Phenomenal lady. He's living in the great state of Massachusetts. Well, Massachusetts, there wouldn't be in America. Because we asked where the revolution was, baby. Revolution, man. That's right. But this guy has helped me out personally with all my computer issues. Because we all know I got the luck of a murder victim of electronic devices. How about my man, Tom Walk? That's not Walkie, not Walker. That's Walk. With an E on the end. Stevens Rubber Stamp and Sign Company down here in yeah, Texas. Otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. That's right. And uh, all kinds of stuff he makes. As you, as you contact information, check it out. Awesome stuff. And, of course, the lovely Crystal Lloyd Ozani, KJ Lloyd, Organo Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. She's a 50-style pinup model. She's a published poet, and she knows it twice. She's an aspiring actress. I worked with her in jolly old England. And total sweetheart. Way cool. Gorgeous. But folks, we celebrate Jamaica Mon. Why? Because Jamaica is a wicked awesome country. So, we have Jamaican Beer Mon. That's right, Red Stripe, because I can't get my hands on any uh, Jamaican Stout, which is a lot better. Jamaican Stout and Jamaican Dragon Stout. Folks, if you find that stuff for me, hook me up. I will hook you up. Not only a shout out, but I'll trade beers for you. So, I want Jamaican Stout. I want Jamaican Dragon Stout. 8% alcohol by volume. Phenomenal stuff. And uh, folks, speaking of phenomenal stuff, I just read last night, there is a beer that was brewed in Scotland that is 65%. 130 proof beer. It's stronger than scotch. It's stronger than whiskey. Stronger than Captain Morgan Spice Rum. Stronger than vodka. That's some seriously potent shit, folks. Ain't no bullshitting that one around. Mm -mm. I would not be able to finish that beer on my show. No freaking way. But we got the old Red Stripe. Brewed by Desno and Geddes Limited Brewing Company out of Kingston, Jamaica. That's right, the capital of Jamaica, man. So, when you have a beer, big old 24 ounces of liquid awesomeness, you got to have a big beer consumption apparatus. That's right. So, we got to bring out the big dog for today, folks. That's right. Things the size of my head. So... Proper beer opening technique, of course. I gotta be careful with this one. There we go. My man Justin Dimmitt, there's a little pop on the action for you. How about the proper pouring technique? As always, 45 degrees, right into the mug. That way there, right over the keyboard too. Perfect pour every time, because I'm just that damn awesome. Wicked awesome. Mmm. How about them apples? Look at that. 24 out ounces of fluid adult beverage, my friends. And uh, two-thirds in a mug at that. Wow. I got a lot of beer drinking to do, man. And woman. 
Cheers and beers to all of you. Prost, as they say in Germany. Kompai, as they say in Japan. <sighs> Jamaican Stripe. Good stuff, man. Not as good as the others that I've mentioned previously. They were phenomenal. But folks, I have to give, before I even give the birthday shout-outs, i got to give a very, 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 very special shout-out to my man, Jesse Labore. He's a badass age ranger. Ten star. That's right. Danger is no stranger to an age ranger. And I work with him here in yeah, Texas, otherwise known as Northern Mexico. Texas is like a whole other country. Good. Well, go be your own damn country if you want to. Hey, the way things are going, I wouldn't blame you. But anyway, enough said on that. I, Reverend Dr. B, don't talk no politics. I talk sports. Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, and Bruins. That's right. That's what I do. So, with that said, Jesse, he's from Minnesota, otherwise known as Southern Canada, and a great man indeed. Good hanging out with you on the old Fod Waddle this morning. Wish we could have had little Jordan Tyler out there, but he got hooked away at the last moment. And we've missed a, a whole plethora of you great age folks. Now, there's a Dr. Singer out there that helped lead the charge. In fact, a big shout out to all you age folks, because you folks stepped up. You wanted to lead the Fod Waddle this morning. Much respect to you, man. That was truly wicked awesome. Lots of action, lots of energy. And oh, by the way, no follow-up findings. 100% wicked awesome pass rate, folks. That's what we do. With that said, let's get to the birthday shout-outs for today. My man, Jerry Caspoli. Happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Now, I met this guy online. See, him and I share something in common. We love the old school music. We know they don't make music like they used to. We love our doo-wop, primarily. Lots of great doo-wop music. Of course, I love my blues, rhythm and blues, gospel, rockabilly, Jamaican. Jamaican ska, real original early 60s Jamaican ska, folks. I'm not talking that modern day um, punk ska. No, this is the real deal, holy field of ska. 1959 with Clue J and his Blues Blasters, the original shuffling jug, considered the first piece of ska music ever recorded, all the way up to about 1965, 66, where they transitioned to a version of music called um, Rocksteady. And then on to about 1970, when the term reggae became popular. Toots and the Maytals and Bob Marley, two of the biggest names in Jamaican music ever. All right, well, let's, let's hook up my man Jerry Caspoli. Now, this guy, he's a Yankees fan. Ooh, yes, I know. But, hey, he's a New York guy, so he has every damn right to be a Yankees fan. He's like me. He roots for the home team. Much respect to you, Jerry. I miss the hell out of you, bud. Hope you're doing well, my friend. A big, big, big cheers and beers to you. But I got to admit, I'm very happy that the Yankees are watching the World Series from home, like my deplorable Red Sox, who went 69-93 and this year. Worst record since 1966. Oh. Wait till next year. Ah, next on the list. Now, here's, here's another one I have yet to meet in person. My man, Fraylin Kraft. Now, this guy is a Mafia Wars badass like this guy, Reverend Dr. B, folks. We love our Mafia Wars on the old Facebook. See, it's a great way of getting rid of pent-up aggression. You just whack the crap out of people. Lots of fun. I love that. I love it. I do. I really do. You're going to get whacked. We'll whack you up into 18 different dumpsters in 18 different states. That's how you dispose of a victim. Ha! There you go. But Fraylin, happy birthday to you, my man. Hope you're doing well. A big cheers and beers to you. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969 minus the acid. Ah, next on the list. Happy birthday to my man, Wes Montgomery. Monty, what's up, my brother from another mother? How are you doing? Hope you're doing awesome. Um, haven't heard from you in a little bit, but uh, definitely never forget you. And I hope you have a wicked awesome birthday. Hope you party hard and enjoy. And uh, I'll never forget last year hanging out with you in Bible camp. Bible camp last year was absolutely phenomenal. We found God, lots of good scripture, good things like that. Oh, and a lot of good beer down there too, huh? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. But yeah, man. Um, so, hope you celebrate well, my friend. And uh, you have a wicked awesome weekend. Next on the list, another lady 
I have yet to meet in person. The Honorable Yvette Hardy. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Now see, like me, we were hardcore Farmville players. But I haven't played in a long time. But I haven't forgotten her. And I hope you're doing well. Love to hear from you. Hope you enjoy the show. Yeah, it's that crazy uh, Red Bow Sox guy. Love doctor. Hey, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late to dinner because I never miss a meal. Eh, eh, not when my wife's cooking. Oh, boy. <laughs> Squeeze me. Big cheers and beers to you. Celebrate well and enjoy, Yvette. Have a phenomenal day. Hmm. Next on the list. Now, this is a lovely lady that I met online back in 1997. And we talked for two years. And then I finally met her in person in 1999. Total sweetheart. A friend to this day. And uh, I've never forgotten your birthday. The lovely Camilla Demita. Happy birthday to you, my dear. Hope you're doing well. Another one of Connecticut's finest. Because we all know the most gorgeous women in the country come from Connecticut on average. And Camilla, you're just another example of that. Total sweetheart. Hope you're doing well. I talk to Jen fairly often, even though she's an Eli Manning fan. But that's okay. And a Yankees fan. But hey, you're from the area. You got the right to be. Nothing wrong with that. But Camilla, I'm not forgotten you. I know you're on the old Facebook like I am. Then again, not too many people are. But hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. And uh, hopefully someday... We'll meet up again. Be good to hang out with you again. Like old times. Next on the list. My man Matt Boyd. Matthew Boyd. A comical nav badass that I worked with here in Yeehaw! Texas. Otherwise known as West Louisiana. And this guy. I, You know Matt. I'll be honest. I forgot where you moved to. Shame on me. Senility sucks. Hey, I'd rather be old than dead, man. You know what I mean? But, uh, yay. Good hearing from you. You said you've already started partying. There you go, brother. And party it hard all weekend long. You know what? If the day ends in a while, it's a party, right? That's right. I live life each and every day to the fullest. Always, always positively motivated. And you folks know that. A lot of you out there know that I'm just a freaking fruitcake. But that's okay, though. I'm a positively motivated fruitcake. But Matt, my man, have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. You know I will. All weekend long. Final birthday of the day. The lovely Sarah, and I hope I pronounced it right. Sarah Guise. Is it Guise or Guise? Nah, it's, it's Guise. Guise? No. Guise. G-U-I-C-E. How do you pronounce that? Guise, right? Yeah. All right. Now, she works with my sister, on the Great Island, the Martha's Vineyard Island, that's right, best island in the world. Martha's Vineyard Island, Massachusetts, that's right, south of Cape Cod. And uh, Sarah, hope you're doing well. I know, you're a Yankee fan. But you're originally from New York, if I remember correctly, so you kind of got that going for you. But I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hope you enjoy the show. Hope you're doing well. Tell everybody back home on the vineyard that I say hello. Miss the hell out of you. Hope to see you again next time I come home. Party hard and enjoy. With that said, how about a couple more additional shout outs? One of them, this guy, I hadn't heard from him for, I think, a couple years. I met him online four years ago. That's right. Um, and I'm drawing a blank. That sucks. MySportsRadio.com. That's right. Lots of. Uh, on, we had online uh, message board, and uh, my, our good friends Sal Capaccio and Johnny Vaughn, they're uh, media men, media moguls, and they had they also did a uh, couple uh, YouTube uh, webcasts, or rather, excuse me, podcasts. Oh, jeez, I'm tired. And uh, what it was called? You had NFL, you had the NFL Red Zone Roundtable, and the Buffalo Bills round. The Buffalo Bills uh, roundtable or something like that. Jeez, I don't even remember anymore. But see, I'm used to uh, NFL now and Buffalo Bills now because Johnny and Sal are still going strong. And uh, we actually were doing uh, webcasts. And I'm a chat moderator in a Bills forum. Okay? 
Why would I do that? Because Sal's awesome, okay? The guy is absolutely phenomenal, working at WGR 550 in Buffalo, New York. And uh, Johnny working Chicago media as well. I'm trying to remember where you're working now there, big man. But I talk to Johnny all the time. Talk to Sal here and there. He, he's not on the Facebook as often as Johnny. Johnny and I are all over that shit, folks. But uh, Sal and Johnny, probably the best online show ever for sports. Ever. And uh, the Patriots don't have any good shows. All they have is the official Patriots Football Weekly. And it's about as exciting. Listen to a Bill Belichick speech. Yep. Yeah, we, we could have done this better. We could have done that better. And, uh, yep, got to give them that. They did well there. Well, we'll have to work on that. Oh, well, yeah, he's injured. Um, and that's, that's that. Um, next. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Bill Belichick. Good Lord, folks. I'd rather stab my eardrums out with a couple dozen ice picks at the same time than have to listen to Bill Belichick for more than 35 seconds. Holy shit, that man is boring and droll. But he's a hell of a head football coach, a head coach for football, you know. But anyway, my man, I knew him as E Show 21. Isha Wormser, dude, so good to hear from you, man. I've missed you, brother. Hope you're doing well. You know I'm doing well. Great chatting with you. We're going to be talking all the time again, like old times, bro. And uh, I know you love my Patriots like, like you love getting kicked in the nuts with a steel toe boot, but you know what? It's okay. We love sports. That's what matters. And uh, just remember, Tom Brady, three Super Bowl rings. That's right. Cheers and beers to you, Isha. Miss you, bud. Great hearing from you again. Much love to you, brother. No homo. And finally, a shout out to my man, Jameson Quarles, a crew dog that I work with here in jolly old Texas. Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Eastern New Mexico. Now, see, Jameson's a BMF. Bad mofo. Bad mamma jamma. Way cool guy. Very positively motivated. Love it. Great work ethic. The guy's just reeks of awesomeness. And my man, hey, how about the song? How about you send that song pop request? God hates a coward. You know, come face the nation of annihilation, man. I'll stomp you down, or at least attempt to. Song pop, the greatest app I think I've ever played. If you know your music, come face the nation of annihilation, and I will attempt to stomp you. Okay. Last week, 1,027 games played against 90 different people. <coughs> Squeeze me. I lied. 88. Then I went 76 and 12. If that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. Cheers and beers to you there, Dr. Jameson Quarles. You are truly a phenomenal man. Keep it up. All righty. We have a lot of celebrity birthdays today. How about... Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak, he's 66. And then you got the former first lady with a bigger dick than Bill. But more faithful at least. That's right, I'm talking about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton! There you go. Clinton. C-L-I-T-T-I-N apostrophe. Uh, that was for Bill Clinton. That was a late great George Carlinism. Also on this day, born in 1947. She's 65 as well. Same month, day, and year as Hillary Clinton. But a lot hotter. Jacqueline Smith, one of Charlie's Angels back in the 70s. And crazy thing is she looks pretty good for 65. Hot diggity dog damn. Wow. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, eh -eh. <clears throat> she more man than will ever be. But anyway, um, on this day in 1911, late great gospel singer Mahalia Jackson was born. She was phenomenal. Um, on this day in 1942, he's 70 years old today. How about... Bob Hoskins. Well, who's he, Reverend Dr. B? Simple. He was Eddie Valiant in one of my great favorite films, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Love that movie. On his day in 1984, super wicked hot, gorgeous figure skater Sasha Cohen was born. She won the 2006 Olympic uh, U.S. Silver Medal. U.S. Silver Medal? How about Silver Medal? <laughs> U.S. For the U.S. Duh. Duh. On his day in 1914, sadly passed away in 1984 at the age of 69, Jackie Coogan was born. You probably don't know who he is, but Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. Yeah. On his day in 
1973, Seth MacFarlane was born. That guy is the creator of Family Guy, one of the coolest cartoons out there. And he also was the uh, director of the movie Ted. That movie was something else, folks. Wow. On this day in 1964, speaking of masculine women, how about this one? Nicole Bass, wrestler, bodybuilder. And she's got a deeper voice than we do. Seriously, listen to it talk. Oh my God. She's six foot two, 240 pounds of muscle with a head and just absolutely gruesome. Ugh. I wouldn't screw her with a stolen tallywhacker. Oh my God. Hey, how about Carrie Elwes? He's 50 years old today. Yeah, Robin Hood Men in Tights. He was phenomenal in that movie. With that said, how about we get to the uh, additional facts of the day? Honest Day 1950. Oh, I forgot about Bootsy Collins, 61 years old today. One of the fathers of funk, folks. Bootsy Collins, phenomenal stuff. Honest Day 1958. Pan Am flies the first transatlantic jet trip ever. New York to Paris. Honest Day 1941. U.S. saving bonds go on sale. Outstanding. Honest Day 1863. The Worldwide Red Cross was organized in Geneva, Switzerland. Wicked. Thank you. On this day, in 1984, remember Baby Faye? I thought it was a couple days ago, but Baby Faye got the baboon heart transplant on that day. She lived for 21 days. Depressing. On this day, 1976, Trinidad and Tobago became a republic. Yaman! Yeah, on this day, 1970, the cartoon strip Doonesbury was created. By Gary Trudeau, it debuted in 28 newspapers. On this day in 1967, this is an awesome one. Edward Brooke, who's he? U.S. Senator from Massachusetts. The first African-American U.S. Senator ever. Um, and ironically, he was a Republican. How about them apples? There you go. On this day in 1964... The Rolling Stones appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show. See, when you appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show, you got wicked famous after that. On his day in 1954, my man Jerry Caspoli will love this because he's a big uh, Chevy. Now he owns a 55 Chevy, by the way. Awesome stuff. But on this day in 1955, Chevy unveiled the V8 engine and still used to this day. Also on this day in 1955, Walt Disney's first TV show debuted. And that was Disneyland on ABC television. On this day in 1949, this is a huge one. President Harry S. Truman increased the minimum wage from 40 cents an hour to 75 cents an hour. I know what you're all thinking. Damn, that's all he made per hour? Yeah, but think about it. Cost of living was a hell of a lot cheaper back then. My mother always talked about you can buy 20 candy bars for a dollar. Normal sized candy bars. Now you're lucky to buy one for a dollar. But, um, and my mother is younger than 1949, okay? So, wow. Almost double. Can you imagine doubling minimum wage nowadays? Holy shit. On this day, 1901, the first use of a get, the first use of a getaway car occurred. A shop was held up in Paris, France, and they used a getaway car. What was the top speed, the speed on that car? About 20? Wow. On this day, in 1861, speaking of things like horses, on this day in 1861, the Pony Express ended. Yay! On this day in 1858, Hamilton Smith patented the rotary washing machine. Outstanding. And finally, on this day in 1492, this was not a Christopher Columbus thing, but lead pencils were used for the first time ever. How about that? Hot diggity dog. Oh, I got a lot of beer to drink. Shit. Ah, it's time to get to the show of the day. Oh, hey, let me show off my friend uh, Jerry Thayer's. Remember I always talk about my friend Jerry Thayer with his, you know, he makes his own beer openers and stuff like that. Look at this. I got the razor. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Red Sox colors on that one. I tried to have this one as Patriot colors, but, you know, I didn't, didn't come out quite perfect. But there is some redness in there, so it's all good. Either way, they're beautiful, though, huh? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Them things are wicked awesome. Hot diggity dog. All right, so, anyway, let's get to the show of the day. Y'all know I'm a big Three Stooges nut. 
And today's episode of the day is three little beers. <laughs> three little beers might equal one big beer. Okay? Mm. Basically, when the Panther Brewing Company excludes its three new delivery men from the annual golf tournament, the Stooges get really teed off and come up with a plan to gain entry with an eye on winning the $100 first prize. $100 first prize. See what I was talking about, cost of living? Too bad they're as bad at golf as they are at de delivering beer. Folks, that one's a hilarious one. 1935 on that episode. Good stuff. Y'all know I'm a big Three Stooges nut. So is my beloved daughter, Delilah. Woo! Nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. All right. With that said, hey, you know what? If you don't like the show, there you go. That's all I got. Anyway, let's get to the babe of the day. And I'm going to do that while doing the song of the day to save time. I have a feeling I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make this a 30 plus minute episode. Because since we're celebrating the fact that Jamaica is an awesome country, I'm going to bring out two songs of the day. Okay? Cool. Besides, I got a lot of beer to drink and I like to finish my beer on this here show. I am not a booze bag. I don't drink a lot. E show, I love my beer every day. But, I don't drink that much beer every day. This babe of the day, folks, and I will show her off while we're playing the music, man. We be talking about the birthday girl, Sasha Cohen. Figure skater. Olympic silver medalist, 2006, Turin, Italy. Boy, oh boy. I love Olympians. Hot Olympians. I do. I love women. All women. Squeeze. Squeeze me. Ah. So, with that said, today's song of the day... Oh, this is a big one, folks. The song is, I'll Never Grow Old... By Toots and the Maytals, that's Frederick Tootsie Bear and the Maytals from 1962. This right here is what original Jamaican ska is all about. Real Jamaican music at its finest. This is my personal favorite of them all. My personal favorite group. I love Bob Marley, but Toots and the Maytals is the real deal holy field of absolute awesomeness. Formed in 1960 and they're still going strong today, 52 years later, man and women. Wow, if that ain't awesome, shit, I don't know what is. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yaman, yeah, on. Listen to that. Yaman. Yeah, Absolute pure awesomeness. Oh, I gotta show off Katie Perry. I got Katie Perry. That was yesterday. Sasha Cohen, folks. Westwood, California, the land of fruits and nuts. She's five foot two and wicked hot. Hey, what do I always say? Every good, almost every good old school song has a good instrumental break, right? Yaman. I know men and some of you women, dirty thoughts rolling through your head. Hey, teach your own. Can you do that? I can't. Such a lovely smile. That's what Reverend Dr. B's talking about, folks. And yes, Isho, I am legally an ordained minister. 
I just appreciate God's natural beauty of women. 2015 I said, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So with that said, I, I said I was going to make this a special show. And by golly, I am. Because this one is We're Rolling Under the Tree of Life by Stranger Cole, 1963. Here you go. You'll love this one. I hope. If you don't, you probably should cut your ears off. Come on! Cheers and fears to all of you! Beautiful song, huh? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B, man. So beautiful, man. Trying to get that serious look going. Yeah, she's seriously beautiful. Heard it. Polka dots, man. Sibo Meadow, man. Perfectly fine to watch figure skating. I do. But, and I actually do appreciate the artwork. Very, very impressed with what they do, man. Stranger Cole, phenomenal stuff. If you don't enjoy it, my apologies, man. And one on. Alrighty. Ooh. Yep, I dripped a little down the old lip. Well, folks, yeah, I gotta finish this here beer. Mm. Savor the flavor, man. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Get on up. It's bobsled time. Cool runnings. Or, of course, see, I'm I, one of my all-time favorite movies, and i got to bring it up. Cool Runnings, 1994. Disney movie. John Candy as Irv Blitzer. Yeah, man. And then, of course, you had Leon, you had Dougie Doug. Um, the movie was awesome. Junior Battle. You had uh, Yo Brenner. Not that Yo Brenner. Because, you know, some people say, you know, they can't believe Jamaica, we have a bobsled team. Some people say, you know, they can't believe Jamaica, we have a bobsled team. We have the one to release and the one junior. Yo Brenner and the man Sanka. The fastest of the fastest Jamaican sprinters. Respect to the man, Herb Lita. Rest in peace, John Candy. <clears throat> Empty as the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. Well, folks, average Yankee fan, Jerry. You're definitely above average. Always wearing the Boston Red Sox shades I bought in Europe. $32, 20 euro. Most expensive sunglasses I've ever owned. Folks, I need your help. If you have a hat, I want to borrow it for this here show. Hook a brother up. I hook you up with a big shout out. I get you a hat back, I promise. And maybe some free beer too. But folks, you know what they say, right? 
Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber to be a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Manning or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And don't forget... Eli and Peyton Manning can buy three Super Bowl rings. Tom Brady, three Super Bowl rings on his own. He's as good as both Mannings put together. Take that, you prickless wonders. Ah! I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Man. Bye, man. Au revoir, man.